Hey guys, this is Daniel and welcome to part 17 of the character modeling tutorial. Um, so, actually I messed up quite a bit um, Yeah, between recording this part and the last one. I, for some reason, I didn't save the file and quitted it. So that I lost um, the lower part of the dress and had to redo it. So, in case you're wondering why it looks a bit different now, that's the reason why. Also, I recorded two other videos after that, and then again forgot to save the file and lost all the progress I made up here and I even started here. Well, anyways, um, that's just a little story behind that. Let's continue our work. So, let's start by adding a new plane. Um, move it to the center location with Alt G. Go to edit mode, delete all the vertices, go to uh, add a mirrored modifier, activate the snapping tools, set them to face and start somewhere here with a new polygon. And of course I don't want proportional editing on, so disable that, make them two with extrusion and then just extrude along here and close them at the back. Activate clipping for that purpose. Now I'm going to disable snapping tools and I'll do the rest um, without them. So first of all let's make sure that they properly align back here. And then do the same thing with all the other ones. Now of course you can uh, always add some more resolution if that's not enough. And make sure you do not um, lose some important features while uh, making this part. Um, now, after the basic shape is uh, there, go ahead and add a solid view modifier and then a subdivision surface modifier, which will give you this kind of look. Um, now it's all about adjustments. Um, actually, not so much with the modifiers, rather the model itself. So let's start to make correct this part here. And that's actually all there is. Now the only thing left is probably the shape itself. So it still doesn't look like there is so much gravity on it and so much weight in general. So to fix that, let's change the direction shape this uh, piece of fabric takes. Um, a bit differently. It's mainly, I think, how straight this is towards this end um, that will make it look more stretched or loose, which will give you a look of more weight or less. So, for the end, I'm not going to go into too much detail. This is all I want to do here. Um, let's see, we might need one more loop here just to make this look okay. All right, and I will increase this thickness a bit and set the offset a bit lower. Actually, yeah, let's keep it like that, but move this a bit up. And this one here. So that looks fine to me. Now let's continue with um, the beginning of the hair. So this time I saved it, so nothing can happen from here on. <laughs> let's hope that I won't forget at the end of the video. Now let's add a new object, a plane this time. Again, it doesn't matter so much, just delete everything that's in there. Same workflow, except we do not want to add a mirror modifier this time. We'll right away start modeling hair. Um, and the interesting thing about hair is that it's really all about um, patience here. You really just have to model each strand of hair by hand. And there is not really a way of cheating, in my opinion. You just have to go through it and do every single strand until you're done. 
So that will probably take now three or four parts maybe of this tutorial. Um, of course, I'll try to skip some some of it if it if it gets too um, you know if it's just the same as as uh, I showed you before. I'll probably start skipping things, but at the beginning I will make sure to show you properly how I um, approach this. So basically, I start with one. Um, line of vertices and then I want to make another one that kind of encloses this strand that I, I want to um, make but make sure that towards the end of this towards the center of the hand this should get um, thinner and eventually in the end connect to one point because we're making the hair in two parts, kind of, or actually three parts. This front part is one, um, yeah, this front hair is one part. So everything in front of the ears, because there is this very nice line that continues from the very one ear to the other one without any stops. So that's one part. The next part is um basically the back of the hair everything there and the third part will be those tails you call them i don't know i think that's what they're called you know what i mean this this long hair uh, that falls down that will be the third part anyways let's um continue this work here for now we'll have to create the strands now when you're happy with, I don't think we have to do so many adjustments from this side this time because it should uh, be rather uh, plain anyways because it's right in front. So then you can go ahead and connect these with F like this. Now let's see. Actually, what I want to do is I will add a smooth modifier as well, so so that I get a feeling for how it's going to look at the end because we do want to smooth it, and we'll start to add new details to here. So you want to make sure that even if you add detail um, very one-sided, you do not want to keep everything else here one-sided as well. So you see, I moved it to the center to keep it balanced, the mesh. And then I want to move those a bit up to give the hair strand a curvature like this. Actually, let's move it a bit for, further here because I think there will be yet another loop coming in here. And we'll take care of the details down here later on. Uh, let's start by fixing the shape. Um, yeah, that looks all right. So we have now this curvature. And now let's see what we can do down here. So f with we you can simply rip those apart. Like this. And we can do the same thing with here. Now what's pretty hard to do is to keep this curvature uh, the same while not having any artifacts there, but what you have to try to do is now to keep the same um, curvature over here. So you see this is definitely not um, the same shape, so we have to change that. Down here the same thing. And down here a little bit as well. Now you, st you will still be able to see quite a few errors, but that is alright for now. Just ignore them. Because once we do this kind of operation later on, you won't be able to see much of it anymore. So that's it for this little introduction to here. Uh, we'll continue this uh, in the next video. 
Uh, let me just finish this off by adding loops here to make the hair ends more sharp. And other than that, I hope to see you again in the next video.